What up, y'all? Tina here. So we have some new developments in the Jonathan Majors case. Make sure you watch this whole video. This is going to be full of twists and turns. So the breaking news today is official charges have now been brought against the woman who accused Jonathan Majors of assaulting her. All right, so the NYPD has enough evidence to charge her. They're issuing a desk appearance ticket, which is essentially an informal arrest. Her lawyers are saying she's going to come back to the U.S. She's going to answer to the charges because I don't know if you guys know, but she's from the U.K. She doesn't live in the U.S. So she's willing to come back to the U.S. and answer to these charges. However, the prosecution says as soon as the charges comes to their desk, they're just going to drop them. They do not want to pursue her. They want to go after him. All right, so if y'all have been following this case, I've done several videos like detailing what's going on. And from the start, this has been a consistent ping pong match between both sides. So check this out. Jonathan Major's lawyers are saying that the driver came out and said that she was the aggressor. She's a crazy person. She was just attacking him. Today, the prosecution is saying the driver said he doesn't know where that came from. He never said any of that, and he never agreed to give a statement. Wow. Jonathan Major's lawyers have been claiming from the start that they have video evidence of the fight, and this is going to show that he's completely innocent. The prosecution is saying there's no video. The video does not exist. So as of right now, this case is going to depend on who can paint the best story of what happened that night. His team is saying that she attacked him. She scratched him up. She beat him up. He ran away from her. The prosecution is saying the ex-girlfriend saw a text from someone in Jonathan Major's phone saying something along the lines of, I can't wait to kiss you or I miss kissing you. She then tried to reach for the phone. They're saying he twisted her arm and then he struck her. Now, both sides have agreed that he did jump out of the car and he ran away from her. This is where things start to get tricky. The prosecution is saying he ran, she chased after him, he turned around, he picked her up, and he aggressively threw her back into the car. His side is saying he ran from her, she ran after him, he picked her up and put her back in the car to prevent her from getting hit by incoming traffic. Which side is telling the truth? This pick up and put back in the car seems like what the prosecution is zeroing in on because they're saying whenever he threw her back in the car, that's where she sustained most of her injuries from. They're saying this is where the fractured finger came in at. This is where the bruising came in at. Jonathan Major's lawyers is saying that the prosecution has been hiding evidence all this time that could prove that he's innocent. His side is saying that the police never took down his injuries where she attacked him. There's also a doctor's note that said that it's no way really that her finger got fractured from him snatching the phone out of her hand but the prosecution is saying that's not where the fracture took place. The fracture took place when you picked her up and threw her back in the car. Ugh, Y'all, I'm telling you right now, this case is going to boil down to a couple things. Because right now, it's a toss-up. It can go either way. This case is going to boil down to evidence, witness statements and testimonies, her testimony, and who can paint the best picture of what happened that night. The big key things is the driver. The driver is going to be key to a lot of this. And also what she says when she gets on the stand. Because right now, the picture is being painted that there's a video out showing that, hey, there's really not any injuries from you. You met these people. You went to the club. You partied. You had a good time. If he assaulted you so bad, why didn't you tell these people to call the police? That seems like that's the angle that his team is going with. The prosecution can easily say, hey, just because she just got assaulted, it doesn't mean that she can't go to the club. Sometimes abuse victims will get into an altercation and they'll go to the club, they'll go to the party, they'll go to work, they'll continue their life as normal. So tomorrow on October 25th, there's another hearing. The judge will decide, you know, we're either going to throw this case out or at this point, we're going to take this to trial. So I'll be doing more videos anytime there's any updates on this case to keep everybody in the loop. I just wanted to give you all the new information. And once again, thanks for hanging out. Make sure you follow me if you want to see any more updates on this case or Marvel or House of the Dragon or Interview with the Vampire. Thanks for hanging out with me. Peace.